Previously on Alan Wake, Alice has been kidnapped. Alan, please help me. Alice? You'll do exactly what I say if you ever want to see your wife. I can't tell anyone except my agent, Barry. Damn it, Barry, they'll kill her. You're my best friend, and I'm worried that you're not right in the head. The ransom is a manuscript I supposedly wrote that's coming true before my eyes. It happened just the way it was on that page. So dark. I have found only a few scattered pages. I want the entire manuscript. The deadline ah. is in two days. I found Mr. Wake's pages. Good girl. How the hell did she get her hands on the manuscript anyway? I don't know. She's resourceful. I told you you were too hard on her. Listen, I found out all sorts of interesting stuff while I was digging around. Yeah. Mr. Wake, it's Sheriff Breaker. We have an FBI agent here, Agent Nightingale. FBI? He's anxious to see you. You'd better come to the station. Okay, I'll be right over, Sheriff. Let's make this quick, huh? <laughs> Help you folks? Name's Randolph. I'm the manager. We're looking for Rose. Works as a waitress down at the diner? Rose, sure. Nice girl. Who wants to know? I'm Alan Wake. The writer, huh? I heard on the radio you were visiting. Well, I'll show you her trailer. That Rose, she's a nice girl. Always pays her rent on time. As I was saying, Al, I found all sorts of weird stuff from the local newspaper's archives. This place is crazy! Disappearances, mysterious deaths, urban legends come true, and, get this, most of this stuff takes place around Cauldron Lake. Well, you ain't wrong, mister. The Indians thought the lake was a doorway to the underworld. I'm the God-fearing type myself. I, I don't hold with that sort of thing. Yeah, okay. Anyway, there was an island there owned by a guy called Thomas Zane. Now, some of the articles I found about him make him out to be a famous writer, but I ran a bunch of searches, couldn't find a single thing he wrote. Zane was heavily into diving, so much so that the place came to be called Diver's Isle. But the volcano under the lake erupted in 1970, and Zane went down with the island. Anywho, welcome back to Alan Wake, episode... Three? Yeah, it's three. God. Come on, mister. I'll take you to Rose's trailer. Yeah, and we're off to see Rose. Come on, Limpy. Any more Toggy? No. So yeah, welcome back. Hmm, I imagine they're meant to be talking about what they just talked about here. Can I hurry you along? Nope, can't hurry him along. Could you go any slower? How did a boat get here? Yeah, how about that? It was there in the morning, as if it had fallen from the sky. But it would take a tornado to lift something like that. We're damn lucky it didn't crush any of the trailers. Ah, I know why it's there then. Fair enough. It is smudged in the darkness as well. Ooh, Randy's dog. S dogs. Let's see. Hot dog, chili dog, corn dog, taco dog, famous dog, big dog, monster dog, belly buster. Just follow me. It's Tra not far. Trailer trash dog. Special plates. Granite Claws, Clam Chowder, Sparkling River Special. As oh, as Guardian Chicken Parmesan. Cauldron Listen, Lake. I got things to do. This place don't run itself. Yeah, Chicken Fried Deep Flavor. Uh, zany Chicken Fried Steak. Uh, salad, salad with chicken. Small side salad, extra dressing. Oh, give me a break, Mister. Can we just get a move on? All right, I'm looking at the store. I'm hungry. better. A local girl, Barbara Jagger, drowned in Cauldron Lake just a week earlier. They were lovers. Sure, Jagger's a local spook story. The scratching hag comes for you in the dark. Childish stuff like that. Anyway, Al, I'm just getting to the best part. 
All of the articles about this stuff were written by Cynthia Weaver. I asked around, and she's that crazy bag lady you met. What, the lamp lady? She can be a little loopy, but she's not homeless or anything. Yeah, anyway, she knew both Jagger and Zane before they both died, and she had some kind of a breakdown. Hmm. Oh, are there yet, for goodness sake. Ooh. Apocalypse tire. Shabam. Oh. Right in the face. Really? Was that important? Although to be fair, mine wasn't really important. Well, mister, this here's Rose's trailer. You mind me asking what you want with her? We're just here to talk to her, pal. Oh, Jesus. Rose Marigold. Ah, both flowers. Fair enough. Mm, dead flowers and a hole in the floor. Welcome to... to... Oh dear, Mr. Wake. I'm... I'm so glad you're here. Rose, you have my manuscript? Oh. Oh yes. Yes. Please, come in. Alright then. Hey, this is really good. Rose. Yes. My manuscript. I really need it. I understand. I know what you need. A muse to inspire you. Oh, for Barry. She doesn't have anything. Yeah. Uh, hey, Al. Al, what's... Oh. Uh. Barry! What? What? Hmm. It's coming for you, hiding in my barber's skin. I'm too weak to stop it. You must turn the lights on. I promised I'd come visit you and your lovely wife. You must finish what you started. You must turn the lights on. Turn the light on. Back to work, boy. Amazing how we managed to find that light so quickly. I felt nauseous, hung over. Only anger kept me going. Yeah. I can't tell reality from dream anymore, but it seems I have an imaginary editor to help me. She's an old woman in a funeral dress. I call her Barbara Jagger. She's very strict. I I'm writing faster and faster. My manuscript is being heavily revised. The edits are getting very aggressive, and each day there's less of me and more of her. I hate it, but I know she's right. Hmm. She promises me I can save Alice this way. She knows more of this than I do. About the complex incantation I'm attempting. About this place. She's worked with another writer under similar circumstances, Thomas Zane. The genre of the story seems to be shifting. It's turning into a horror story. I'm getting close. I can feel it. Was she manipulating you more? Oh my god. That's... Let's get a good look at that. Foo boy. Okay, that's not bad. That is. Collect the books. Don't shine. What's this? Believe in change, perhaps? I'm surprised there aren't more volumes, to be honest. But she likes the elephant. 
Rose took a day for me. I had less than 12 hours left to meet the kidnapper. All I could do was get Barry into the car, work something out once I got on the road. Welcome to the Oh Dear Diner. What can I get you today? Coffee? I couldn't work up much hate for Rose. Something had used her to get to me and left its mark. First refill is free. Milk and sugar on the counter there. Would you like to hear today's specials? Thank you. A nice day. Come back soon. Barry was out of it. He was way too heavy to carry. <laughs> hmm. You're right. I deserve more money. I'm so handsome. <laughs> sure, Barry. Sure, yeah. Nothing else? Nothing to share? Okie dokie. Not much to this house now that I look at it. I mean, for one, where's the bathroom? There isn't one. Hmm. Not a very smart house design, but okay. My gun and flashlight were gone. I'd have to find a way to get Barry into the car as quickly as possible. There was no time to waste. What we got here? Mr. Randolph liked Rose. That little smile she had. How she was still sweet when life had tried so hard to make her bitter. It wasn't any of his business what she did in her trailer. But those strangers, the writer and his smart-ass sidekick, looked like trouble. And they'd been in there for hours, way past her normal bedtime. He reached for the phone and called the sheriff station. Smart thing to do. I mean, that one actually worked, time-wise. Ooh. I just stepped outside to catch a breath of fresh air. Let me tell you, the weather's getting heavy. Nights like this make me especially glad I'm here talking to you and not home in bed. Once once the weather takes a turn like this, I can't sleep at all. It's all tangled bed sheets and dark thoughts, punctuated by the occasional plunge into nightmare. <laughs> is it just me? Well, perhaps it is. But I hope I can make the night a little bit easier to get through. Caller, you're on KBF FM. Hey, hi, it's Walt Snyder. What's on your mind, Walt? Well... I am the way you are, but, well, uh, I can't sleep either, you know? Uh, I've just been staring out of the window here, trying to make sense of it all, but, uh, I ain't been drinking either, you know? I just... Well, you sound like a man with a problem, Walt. Yeah, yeah, uh, I had a, uh, you know, uh, argument with Danny, you know, Danny and... Uh, then I get in trouble with the law, you know, and, um, I'm just, well... I heard something like that, Walt. Yeah, well, you know, he's, uh, you know, Daddy's my best friend, and, uh, they let me on bail today, and now I'm just alone here at the window, you know, waiting. Man, man, there's something in the air tonight, man. Yeah, I was just outside looking up at the sky above our broadcast tower thinking the same thing. What are you waiting for, Walt? I don't know. I, you know, something's gonna happen. You know, I gotta, I gotta, I, I think I better go. Well, uh, Walt, uh, maybe... No, that, thanks, Pat. Uh, well, good luck to you, Walt. Hang in there. Uh, let's take a little break, folks. This weather's really something else, huh? How can I be sure? So you put something dark and moody on. Perfect. Okay. Anywho, back to our regu regular scheduled events. Coffee!
Nothing else on the way? Oh, you're gonna get it now. God knows what you've done to that poor girl. This is Agent Nightingale, FBI. Get him up, Hemingway. You're under arrest. You move a muscle, I'll unload right in your goddamn face. Stay right where you are, Slane. Ooh. What are you? I'm standing right here, you goddamn maniac. And back into a dark forest. I hated to leave Barry behind, but there was no way I'd miss my appointment with the kidnapper. Give it up, Mr. Wake. Come on. Make it easy. Hmm. Move it, move it, move it! I'll have your chance if you let him get away. There's always one crazy FBI guy. So now it's not a case of running away from the bloody darkness, it's running away from humans. Oh no. like the path was going. Oh, that's a dead end, fair enough. Should be more observant, but you know. Ah, take a break. Ah, catch my breath. Ooh, okay. Oh, no, not another manuscript page. Never good when I find these. For decades, the darkness that wore Barbara Jagger's skin slept fitfully in the dark place that was its home and prison. It was hungry and in pain. It dreamed of its nights of glory when the poet's writing had called it from the depths and given it a brief, terrible taste of power and freedom. The rock stars had stirred it from the deep sleep the poet had sunk it back to in the end. When it sensed the writer on the ferry, it opened its eyes. Hmm. Oh no. Perhaps it's not just the humans now. God damn. A gun? Torch? Over and out. The suspect was last sighted running along the board to the westward from the trailer park. All units are advised that the suspect may be armed. Approach with caution. James out. But why how? Why would I be armed? Oh, page. Good thing I went back here. Rose didn't know how the strange old lady got in her trailer, and she looked wrong somehow. The woman showed her teeth in an approximation of a smile and traced a finger down Rose's cheek. Pretty girl, she said. Rose felt as if she was falling asleep, but her knees didn't buckle. The crone spoke in a whisper, her words ice cold and dark in Rose's ear. I 
Let's get out of here before bloody evil appears. Be that policeman or darkness. What's that? It is nothing. It's a big pile of nothing. Police people. Oh, and there's the darkness. This way. Over here. Oh my. No. This horror was everywhere I went, circling me. The cops didn't stand a chance. They were after a writer, not a monster. Jumping to conclusions. That tends to come back and bite you in the ass. Out. 